Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cypher Sue. Today's topic is don't shortchange your needs by waiting around for someone who's only into casual dating. You always want to respect yourself when you're out in the dating arena. You want to always be respectful to what it is you're looking for, what it is you're putting out there, how you're conversing with people and vice versa. Don't put yourself into situations where you're the one that's compromising. You're the one that's always sitting back and waiting for the call, waiting for the date to happen. If somebody's interested in you, interested in you, you will know. You will know really quickly because you will want to see each other again. Usually it's fairly reciprocated when you have a really good rapport in the first couple of dates. And this is something that you should be looking for and paying close attention to when you are either texting them before you meet them or on the first and second date. How they respect you, how they treat you, how they look at you, the, the conversations that you have, these are all super important green flags that you want to pay attention to. The red flags show up fairly easily, but a lot of people choose to ignore them. They think, oh, they'll be better. It, it's going to go away. They're, they're not all that bad. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Well, the trouble with giving everybody the benefit of the doubt is that you're giving it to somebody that you don't know. Your first priority should be how you feel when you're with them. How do you feel when you're talking to them? And how do you feel at the end of the date? Do you feel that it was a reciprocated, fantastic night or afternoon? Or do you feel that it was, again, you doing compromise? You're always sitting back and waiting to hear from them because you don't know what they're thinking. You don't know what they're feeling. You should always have a little bit of an idea as to how someone feels because people who are together and who have been dating for a while understand the importance of letting the other person know. Even if you're not that interested in them and you tell them, I'm sorry, I just didn't feel a connection. And if you did feel a connection, I had such a great time, I can't wait to see you again. These are the kind of things you want to see and you want to hear when you're dating. It's really important to understand when you should walk away from a situation. Because I do find that people get themselves into very similar things and they don't realize that there's a bit of a pattern going on. And they're the ones maybe taking the back seat all the time. They're the ones that aren't getting their needs met to what they want. They're just sitting there taking the dregs of what somebody gives them, hoping for more. The trouble with this is when you are compatible and there's a really good chemistry and connection, you really don't have a lot of questions because you communicate to each other. It's just a natural reciprocated flow. When you're sitting there at the end of a date and you're saying, oh my God, I wonder if I'm gonna see them again. I'm not really sure how that went. I don't know, I felt like they did all the talking and I, they didn't know anything about me. These are all the little red flags you should be paying attention to. Because if somebody is talking always about themselves and you're not hearing anything or giving them any information about you at all, then they're just basically a little absorbed with what's going on in their own life. You're not a priority. And this is something to pay attention to because you save yourself so much time and energy when you pick up on stuff like this right away. I think a lot of people hope for more, so they sit it out, they wait it out, and they say to themselves, you know what, I think it went okay. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but then they don't contact you for two or three weeks, and then when they do, it's last minute, or it's a, they're looking for a booty call situation. These are all huge, huge red flags. And if you don't allow them in, they won't happen. And the more that you refuse this type of person to be in your life, the less of that type of person you will meet because you will spot the signs so much quicker each time. And that's what learning the dating lessons is all about. Not repeating bad situations or uncomfortable situations. You always want to be ahead of the game in the sense that you are prepared to sort of look beyond just maybe an attraction towards somebody. 
you can actually see who they are. And it's, there's no pretense. That's what you want to look for. Another thing, if they tell you they are just into casual dating, believe them. Don't look at it as, oh, but once they know me, they're going to want more. If they say after they've met you, they're only into casual dating, they're not ready for a relationship, do not give the situation any more energy. It's not up to just them. It's up to you both as a couple. If you want to move forward or you don't want to move forward. If they just want a sexual relationship, you're not looking for that. Move on. These are all things that will save you so much time and heartbreak. You won't have to deal with so much of this, this sort of self-worth problems after you date similar people that are, are causing you to feel this way. You have to be smarter than them. You have to be smarter enough to know that what is sincerity and what is a bunch of BS. That's, that's the part that a lot of people don't get because they're too nice. You can still be a nice person and walk away because you're not getting what you're looking for. That's the important thing I want you to take out of this video. Because if you're looking for a partnership, that's what you're looking for. You're not there to be somebody's part-time situation. If you have boundaries when you first meet somebody new, you won't get yourself into a place where you feel like you're always sort of way down the priority list. When somebody wants to see you, they make time to see you. Even if it's for a half an hour coffee, it doesn't matter. You make the time or you give an alternate time frame for them to see you. So if they say, I've got so much on my schedule for work for the next two weeks, but would it be okay to see you for coffee on Wednesday? It'll just have to be short. Those kind of things show they're making an effort and that they're trying to see you even if they really truly have a busy work schedule. If they're constantly making excuses, you're always the bottom of their daily priority list, then you know you're not really the person that they want to spend their time with that's okay. It doesn't make you a terrible person or that you're not attractive or desirable. It just means that's where they're at at the time. And you don't need to put yourself there. When you're honest about what you're looking for and you really, really hear what, they're, what they say back to you, that is when you will make the right decisions. You will say to yourself, okay, they stuttered. <laughs> They didn't really give me a, an honest answer. They gave me a lot of sort of hoopla and BS about what's going on in their life. Please don't waste your time there. It's just sort of a casual situation. That's all they're looking for. 